Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm on a different version of my testing bed. And this is Shan's system from Works Holsters. And I'm doing finalized testing on checking his VFD with his dual relay configuration with an actual spindle to make sure everything is functioning. Now this is what I do with every client system that I produce. And why do I do that? Because I want me to experience a problem before any of my clients do. That's common logic. That being said, after going through all this, I thought to myself, one of the biggest questions that I continuously get asked is how do I diagnose, or just for that matter, check PWM voltage on a G540 or for that matter, any drive, because all of this information is applicable to any driver, uh, meaning any uh, stepper drive, servo drive, whatever it may be, or breakout board that utilizes PWM voltage to actually manipulate the speed of your spindle. So, I pulled out the multimeter and you can see we've got that right here. It's Fluke 179 True RMS. I set everything up just as I would do the typical mock-up. You can see what we've got here. Here is Shan's system, UC400 here, just held in place with masking tape to make everything as clean as possible. DB9 double shielded cable going over to the VFD. And we can go over this briefly. I've already done this on the first um, version of the controller you purchased. You can see how I've machined in a nice hole uh, and that's so we can let all our wiring in. You can see the DB9 connector that goes to the DB9 cable and then it breaks out. DCM is white lead, reverse is blue lead, forward is black lead, ACM orange lead, and 10 volt is purple lead. RPM. Now, so 5,000 RPM would be just a slight percentage of between 0 and 10 volts. Okay, so now what we're going to do now that I've explained how that works with PWM, I'm just going to apply my probe on ACM terminal and the red probe on the 10 volt terminal. And you'll look on my multimeter and it's registering 9.97, 9.96. It's fluctuating slightly. And you can see we're essentially getting 10 volts output from the VFD. Okay. Now, why is that important? It's important because this 10 volts from the VFD is actually going to be feeding into the G540 so that the G540 can step down that voltage accordingly to whatever RPM we decide to run within Mach 3. 